Is this no. loud enough? Buddy! Have fun, alright. I mean, Taco Bell. Fantastic. I'm wearing the socks, the hat, the bow tie. Hello. Look at that guac. Yes. Alright, where is my sonic screwdriver? Actually, you know what? I'm gonna use. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> okay. Hey, it's Bowtie, and today I'm gonna be teaching you guys, with my friend Sage, how to write a song. Whenever I want to write a song, normally what I do is I go online, pull up my laptop, type in. Actually, there's a website, I'm gonna leave a link to it down below. Uh, depending on your instrument of choice, then uh, I usually choose ukulele. Sometimes I pull out my keyboard and start playing that, but. Um, normally I would think of a chord progression or come up with a chord progression from the internet and try figuring out what mood that gives me whenever I play it. So like, let's go for the very basic chord progression of like E minor, C, G, and then D. So like... Also, the different strumming patterns and tempo changes the mood of the song, just saying. That one's kind of like a do 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 do, do. I, don't, I don't know how to describe the mood, but like, I would just go based off of the mood that it gives me on what message I want to convey in the song. So say I want to write a lighthearted song, and it'd be like... Then I would be like, okay, so let's see, what can I write about? Normally it's Taco Bell, so I'm just like... Ba -ha -ha blast. But like, besides the point, figure out what you want to write about, what mood you want to convey in that song, and try basing your chords off of that, because music makes you feel and do things that you can't really control. So yeah, once you choose your wep weapon of choice, <laughs> your <laughs> instrument of choice, dun dun dun, <laughs> then you'll choose uh, chord progression or musical form, yes, that, um, and then figure out what mood it conveys, figure out what you want to write about. So... I go a completely different way. No, I'd like to hear your way. What, what, what do you do? Okay, That's well, what I do, but... Sometimes I first come up with some sort of metaphor, or I'll come up with like a line in my head, and then I'll try to find a way and make that line rhyme and rearrange words and stuff like that. Continue. <laughs> and then I usually come up with a melody with it while I'm writing it, and so then I'll go back and try to find a chord progression that works with it. And a lot of the times I'll like throw in light chords because... You throw in what chords? Light chords. They're like suspensions that never resolve. That means nothing to me because I, I only know of like chord names, that's it. I don't know anything about music theory. Yeah, I've been messing around a lot, so that's how most of my learning has come. I'm self-taught. <laughs> yeah, no, self-taught is definitely the way I've gone so far, because, like, I learned how to play guitar, and then eventually I graduated high school, and then I didn't have a guitar to practice anymore. So I kind of forgot how to play guitar, and then I started playing ukulele yeah. and taught myself how to play that at the same time that I was trying to teach myself how to play piano. And so it's kind of been a rocky part for the piano, but, like, ukulele I play pretty much every day. So it's like... And I'm trying to learn more advanced, more advanced chords, basically not basic chords like C, G, D, E minor, F, A, stuff like that. What is that? Diminished. I don't even know what it's called, but it's diminished. I don't know. I just put my fingers in a random location and like the sound. Um, and there's also this. Also, um, if you want to like change keys, you literally can just like, okay, so here's your G chord to play mm -hmm. an A flat um, chord. You just slide that up and wrap your thumb around. And then E chord, so you play E flat and then you slide up the obnoxious E chord. Oh yeah, yeah, this is what no one ever tells you. Yeah, because like, I hate the E chord. I hate the E chord so much. It's the one chord I'm like, wait, this song has an E chord in it? Bye. Bye. And I just like, don't even try, try learning how yeah, to play Yeah, because everyone's like, oh, what's going on? I'm like, why are you doing that? Don't do that. Do this. Actually, what I do is, so, because I do D like that. Oh, my gosh, no. Never. Cannot. But then like for E, I do. Is that E? Is that E? Uh. Yeah, I, I usually just wrap my thumb around, even though that's bad for your wrist and you shouldn't oh, that's, do that. Oh, that's really bad, but I don't know, man. This is okay, I think. I don't have to go all the way. I don't know. I, anyway, I don't you don't that, hold it weird. That blasted E chord. Wait, how do, you, how do you do it again? I do this, and then I wrap my thumb and cover that. <laughs> By the 
way, she's written plenty of songs before, and she actually has one on Spotify. If you want to check that out, I'll leave a link down below. Uh, super very catchy. Super very catchy. What the heck? Super very catchy. Super very catchy. <laughs> but like literally, it's amazing how well she's good at writing songs. And I'm like, what I really want to learn how to do is how you do the key changes and like, oh. like, because I, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know where to put a key change if I, because I, I love key changes so much. Yet whenever I'm writing a song, I'm like, oh, a key change would sound nice here. I don't know how to do that though. Yeah, oh, oh my gosh, that was an adventure trying to figure that one out. I was like, I want to put a key change here. I have no idea how to do that. So I combined two chords. So I, okay, so the bridge to 42 goes. This is out of tune, okay. So it's all based around the D chord, but you like lift yours. I don't so. know. <laughs> <laughs> but it feels like. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, so, but like uh, the second time I do it, it goes. And then I was like, what if I throw in the A minor part or the A major part in here? And then it goes to, see, it's that part of the G chord that I just played, and then I add the on top of it. Okay, so. And then it goes. Er. Okay, hold on. That's bothering me. Please, please tune this it. This it, No, just like, it's out of oh, tune, yeah. so it's like. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's just a soprano, so when you play harder on one note. So, like, here's your, here's your C, and then if you press too hard. Oh wait, actually that wasn't much of a difference. Oh. Yeah. If you press too hard, then it okay. goes. Oh, I see. love that. Oh yay! <laughs> Gotta love getting calluses. <laughs> Lines. <laughs> I don't know how to do key changes more than that though. I don't know if it's the first one or the second one, but anyway, it's like. Jamie Sanders is extremely weird, but then I can do it. So like, yeah, I can change for like basic chords directly, but like, mm -hmm. if I'm actually trying to make a song into like a different key change, like for the rest of it, it's just, I don't know how to do that. Okay. Unless I like know the direct correlation to that chord. Mm -hmm. So yeah, then after that, like that's just the first verse, and I'm like, <clears throat> then I have to think of pre-chorus maybe, because they're not optional, they're all optional. Wait, that's all the first verse? Yeah. That's a lot. Okay. Well, I'm, I guess. Well, actually, I would t make this into the chorus because friendship is. Yeah, like no, yeah, I was. Uh, well, no. No, I don't know. I feel like that would be the pre-chorus actually, because because yeah. fr friendship is a perfect and it takes a lot of work, but being friends with you is a really big perk, and then the chorus. But I don't know what what because I really always. That song that was you <laughs> that was me i literally thought someone else was playing oh my god that's incredible i am shook it to the core i came up with that like a week before i actually performed it live at efy <laughs> you live? wow okay. i changed the, i changed the chord like 15 minutes before i auditioned for that live performance one chord one chord just one just one this it was, used to be this one and then i went to this one because it sounded like an ending but it wasn't the ending so i just yeah, ukulelego.com. Great ukulele chord progressions. That's what it, you, you need to look up, I guess. Wait, does it just randomize it? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Okay, I can't do B minor like that. Like, how do I do B minor? I think. Like this? No. It's, what am I doing? That's all. That's all. Day, and then you do. Okay, so. Okay, um, I don't know, what, what should we write a song like? Oh boy, oh boy, let's make a plug. Okay, okay, alright. What do you think?
What are you? You're not writing songs about. Great question, man. I just randomness. Randomness. Oh, Ooh. I write songs best when I'm extremely emotional, whether it be happy, sad, whatever. Actually, I also dream more when I'm really emotional. Like, oh, yeah. So anyway, mm -hmm. um, I feel like putting emotion into the songs that you write, not only just like for, oh, I'm going to write a song, but like if you actually want to make a clear, distinct message in your song, like... It has to be emotional. Yeah, it has to be emotional and like personal. Not, not, not always personal or like maybe not from your personal experience, but someone else's that is close to you. Um, so like, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. That's 42, that's how that's happened. <laughs> and it's kind of just the thing that I do every single day. All I have to do is say I'm okay, cause I put a smile on my face every single day. I'll wake up, go to work, and say I'm dead inside. Wait, that's not the case. I'm smiling, can you see it on my face? <laughs> that was awful, but like, usually I kind of just... I write about very, um, existentialism, Taco Bell, uh, we're all gonna die in the end, so live it up while you're young. But isn't that every pop song ever, though? <laughs> yeah? Are you okay, too? Uh, just a little bit. Still just a little bit, like... <coughs> <laughs> Alright. See, okay, so let's, let's... I don't I know. I miss my high school years when I was in choir. <laughs> I went to the concert last night. I was like crying. I was going to, but like, <clears throat> I w what did I do? I don't know. I ha oh right, I went to Taco Bell. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I actually recorded a Taco Bell break video. Uh, I still have to edit that. High school? High school. Okay. High school years. High school years aren't the best. It, may, or it leaves a weird feeling inside my chest whenever I think about them. I was so awkward. <laughs> lyrics, man. Once you get I'm, the idea, you're like... Well, okay. You, I'm it's awesome. When it, when it comes to, like, I can make parodies perfectly, like, easy oh, yeah. fine. Because they're so easy. They're already made. All I have to do is change it up a bit. Give me a topic. Bam. Yeah. Taco Bell. Bam. <laughs> Taco Bell, indeed. But, like... I'm glad I'm recording this because I literally don't even remember what I just said. Alright. Leaves a feeling inside my chest. Especially in my freshman year, it was so awkward. I was tripping over myself and every other word because every single time uh, people ask me about my high school years, I say to them, Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> it's like, <clears throat> I don't wanna talk about it. Taco. <laughs> talk about it. Actually, <laughs> if you can see that, that's new. Does that light up? No way. You're and kidding. then Phil died, okay. <clears throat> but since, wait, no. I don't wanna talk about it. But since you asked me, I guess I'll say, or, but since you asked me, like, I want to say, like, I will explain, and then you go, first day of school, it was messed up, da, 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 da. and then you can list everything that went yes, wrong. Exactly, exactly, <laughs> perfect, just like, first day of school, I met this really cool, no, uh, no, okay, first day of school, I was really shy and awkward, um, what rhymes with awkward? I like to rhyme, like, rhyming is, like, one of the things. So as you can tell, um, normally what you just do is kind of just go with the flow of whatever feels right and like whatever message you want to say. Like, okay, this song is basically about how high school sucks and like we're all gonna die alone eventually. See, I was, I'm still in high school. I graduated a couple years ago, so I'm kind of over it. <laughs> Don't have to go back there. High school's hell. Teachers are demons. <laughs> Classmates are rude. What rhymes with the demons? I don't know. Where to go after this? I guess I'm stuck at McDonald's. Oh no. <laughs> High school's prepared me for nothing at all. Nothing at all. I'm never gonna use a single thing about that. Wait. Wait. I'm not gonna learn anything. Wait, no. I'm not gonna use.
is anything I learned in high school in the real world. But that's okay, cuz I'm stuck at McDonald's or another dead end job. I don't, I don't know. See, like, I, I don't know. Like, I have instances where it's like, oh yeah, that sounds good, and then I stop and I'm like, crap, I don't know what else to do. You gotta do specifics. Specifics, yes. Specifics. High school. Specifics. Class. Your worst class. What did you hate about that worst class? People, what was the, the rudest person in your least favorite class? Biology, my teacher. Great. Her nickname was Miss Bitch. Why? Who said that about her? Talk I about did. that. I did, because what did she along do? with my best friend. Who, what, when, where, why, how? That's she, how you get content. Hey, okay, there you go. <laughs> think of a song, who, what, when, why, how, boom, bam, there you go. I don't even think about That's that. That's also how 42 happened. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what, what I'm, I'm doing. Do, yeah. Don't know who. Yeah, yeah okay, wow. Who, what, when, where, why, how? <clears throat> Interesting. I didn't think about it like that. That's a good tip. Who, what, when, where, why, how? Okay, so we've got choose chords, blah, 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 all that stuff, instrument. Content. Who, what, when, why, how? Then you got your content. And if, if that doesn't feel right, then change it up a bit depending on how you feel. More content, more lyrics, more lyrics, more likely to rhyme, more rhymes, more song. Exactly. Or maybe you just don't like that topic anymore. You can set it aside for later. Exactly. I do that go so back. often. So often do I do that. Like, <laughs> right? Hold up. Let me like really quick. I have some scrap song or a scrap lyric from 42 that I ended up scrapping because of how things played out. Because yeah. there were originally two diff different songs that I smooshed together. Oh, yeah. And I wrote a bridge. Like before I even wrote the chorus for the first part. It was meant for the very end of the song, but I was never planning on finding my 42 that didn't, wasn't gonna happen, Yeah. I thought, so. 29. So I have almost 30 songs. Well, th th this says all of the songs, but I probably have written more in the past that I haven't like actually written down on Google Docs. Yeah. Oh, actually, no, I do, because I have a bunch of parodies in my notes. You know Colorful by Panic in the Disco? Taco Bell parody. Man, why is it with you talking about? What is it with me and Taco Bell? I don't even know the answer. Like, the universe, God knows, not me. Speaking of, we might go to Taco Bell after this video, just saying. For the third time in a row for me. Today? No, not oh. today. Today? Wow, okay. I mean, I'm a TV devotee. Does that, does that cover all the bases for writing song? Like, just figuring out? I feel like the who, what, when, where, why, how is definitely a big thing. I didn't even think about. <clears throat> Which is probably why I'm not able to finish songs. But then again, you'll I get there, you'll get there. Yeah, but like the, the main problem for me is like not even like really song lyrics. It's more just the chord progression to make it sound different. It, it, I guess it's just trial and error. Messing around, trial and error. That sounds like a cool chord. Do it. There we go. Yeah. Hey. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Oh look, there's the door. Despacito. Despacito. <laughs> potato. Potato. No one says potato. Have you noticed that? I know one person. You say potato. I say shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I say shut up. <laughs> well, Sage, on that note, I feel like we've pretty much covered all the bases for how to write a song. It's going to be a pain to edit all of this. But that's okay. Well, thank you for uh, helping with this video because, like, you're pretty good at writing songs. Oh, thank you. Especially since you actually know how to put them up on social media, like Snot Spotify and stuff. Snotify. Snotify. <laughs> Snotify, all those snotty little... I mean, to be honest, <laughs> Snotify only pays me, like... Point zero 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 zero. Yeah. One. Like there's YouTube. Oh, that's even less. Yeah, exactly. Oh yeah. Well, I've already made all the mistakes you can make, so there you go. There you go. You just <laughs> learn. That, that's why I prefer to learn from other people, and that's why my channel exists. So you Independent guys can learn. Independent artists. To do. Yeah. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, then let me know by clicking the like button, and if you want to check out her song on Spotify, then the link is in the description below. And if you're new to this channel, then you can click over here to subscribe, I'd love to have you back. And make sure you click the notification bell so you can stay updated on all the latest content that I have to offer. You can check out my latest video by clicking here, my social medias are right there, and I also have a playlist of all my videos right there. But that is all, so have a fan-freaking-tastic day, and stay cool, companions.